Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars universe seems to be quite expansive, not just with their future books, novels, comics, and video games, but also, let's not forget about the Star Wars TV shows, the movies that are currently in the works as well by Disney and Lucasfilm, that's really going to fulfill the Star Wars franchise pretty much all back to George Lucas's vision with Star Wars and the philosophy of it all. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the new Star Wars universe is that we have Favreau and Filoni pretty much being involved in a majority of all of the projects moving forward. The only thing that Kathleen Kennedy has full creative power over just to let you guys know, is both the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew. Both of which, by the way, are currently being worked on back to back. The Acolyte has been running into a lot of production issues time and time again, which, by the way, is costing Disney a lot of money, a lot of revenue, if you will. However, that brings us back to Obi-Wan Kenobi as a series. Now, we already know that a Season 2 is already in development in the early stages, but Obi-Wan Kenobi Season 1, alright, let's not forget that it's very much a divided show. There's a lot of fans that either like the series or they dislike the series heavily because of the choices that they made with the characters like Reva or Leia being way too involved and everything around that sense. Now, when you look at everything related to Favreau and Filoni, they have said this many times before in the past that to them, Star Wars is really about fulfilling the Star Wars fans' dreams come true, to really making that feeling come back to when they had when they were a kid. And that's what they want to do. They really want to make sure that they're going to stay in line with George Lucas's philosophy of Star Wars and what it really stands for and exactly how they're about to go doing that all depends on exactly, you know, what the fans are actually asking for. So, with that being said, with many new Star Wars TV shows in the works under Disney, they are also moving forward with a second season for Obi-Wan Kenobi that both Ewan and Hayden are already attached to. Further, it's noted that storyboards are already being revived and created for this Kenobi second season, as well as plans that are being developed before they begin work on a script. However, one of the storyboards for Obi-Wan Kenobi is set to feature a major cameo of one of the most beloved characters in the prequel trilogy known as Mace Windu, played by Samuel L. Jackson. Now, Sam Jackson has already been in the talks with the higher-ups over at Disney to make his return as Mace Windu. One of the already illustrated storyboards to be used in the second season of Kenobi involves Mace Windu running away from the clone troopers on Coruscant in the depths of the city as they are firing their blasters at him as he takes cover. Here, Mace Windu is wearing a hood over his head and is missing an arm that appears to now be bandaged up. This is most likely in reference to a big flashback scene that Lucasfilm is planning to develop that will showcase how Mace Windu survived the fall after his duel against Palpatine and escaped Coruscant. Now, Mace Windu in this storyboard is also illustrated with a new design where he appears to have a deep scar on the right side of his face from the Force Lightning by Palpatine. Now, there were originally plans to make this happen and to actually make this scene occur in the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie trilogy that eventually got shot down by Kathleen Kennedy that is now being revived to be used in the upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi second season. Essentially, Lucasfilm is taking many of the concepts from the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie trilogy to be used in the next two Obi-Wan seasons that Disney plans to announce sometime in the beginning of 2023 for the fans around the globe. So let me just stop right here for a second. Now, in case you guys did not know, it was confirmed that there is an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie trilogy that exists when it comes to the stories that were supposed to be made by Stuart Beatty, the original writer. Now, Stuart has made it clear on, you know, multiple occasions that what he wanted to do was going to be very expansive. It was going to be a very big story between Reva, Obi-Wan, and other new characters coming into the equation, as well as returning characters from the prequel trilogy movies. There were no Inquisitors in his scripts that he was planning, as well as the early drafts. There were no Inquisitors at all in the storyboards or anything like that. But it was going to be strictly focused on Vader, Kenobi, Reva, and the returning prequel trilogy oriented characters as well. Now, behind the scenes, many storyboards 
for the trilogy involved the return of Mace Windu. They really wanted to make it very epic and very surprising for the fans. And they're basically taking those key elements from the Kenobi trilogy and reviving that for the second season. So one of the storyboards, like I say, involves a full-on sequence where basically Mace Windu is on the run in the depths of the city of Coruscant, trying to survive while he's got this nasty wound by a missing arm. He's got a severed arm. It's all bandaged up. He's taking cover. Clone troopers are chasing him and he's trying to get away. Now keep in mind here, there's no lightsaber. He is basically only equipped with using the force and trying to survive. So moving forward from all of that, Sam Jackson is said to have had multiple meetings with both Favreau and Filoni about his involvement in a second season of Kenobi that is now moving forward that is going to be treated as a brand new take on the show, but will also be an extension of season one. Almost like a soft reboot in a sense is what Lucasfilm is aiming for to focus on a rich story that does not involve Kathleen Kennedy playing any cards in the creative field for the show. Now, Disney's plan is to revive all of Stuart Beatty's ideas, from the Kenobi trilogy that was completely shot down by Kathleen Kennedy. The return of Mace Windu is also going to be handled by George Lucas, given that this character is his creation from the very beginning, and that Lucas will have some creative involvement in the second season of Obi-Wan Kenobi to achieve Disney's goal to turning things around for the Star Wars community. Sam Jackson is planned to make said announcement sometime next year about returning to the Star Wars franchise once again and for other projects as well, so keep an eye out for 2023. Now, before I get to the next thing here is that everybody has been very much confused about why Lucasfilm would even want to continue with the second season of Obi-Wan. Now, I, for however, support it. I may have a lot of problems with Kenobi Season 1, I may dislike a lot of elements of what they did with the Kenobi series, but let's face it, if they are focused on improving the story and taking a lot of Stuart Beatty's work and reviving that, I think that we may just have a chance at really restructuring the show on a more positive scale that a lot of fans are really going to support and talk about for the years to come. It all It's all really dependent on exactly how cinematic they want to make it feel, how movie-like they're going to aim toward making it feel. You know, if you look at Obi-Wan Kenobi Season 1, there are a lot of moments where it feels very fan-filmy, it feels very low-budget, so they have to create this consistent flow of making it feel like the cinematography is very movie-like, and that's what they are aiming for with this second season, by upping the budget on a consistent level. So that's what they want to do. Kind of similar to what Andor did. In case you guys did not know, uh, Andor is going to be very cinematic. It's going to feel like a movie through and through. So that's what the Kenobi series is aiming for right now with the second season by Disney and Lucasfilm to make it feel more cinematic. So the return of Mace Windu, I think some fans are going to have issues with this. We talked about this before in the past. It's been in the talks for a very long time that is now finally moving forward. And Sam Jackson also teased this a couple of months back as well. You guys may recall on Instagram. So overall, I think that everything is beginning to fall into place. And that John and Dave, they really have their heads on straight with the fans. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. And I'll catch you guys next time.